for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, we will talk about some patch changes coming for the Rogue in Season 5, but first I want to show you what my flurry build does on the PTR. I'm still not sure how it works, but look closely. My Rogue is too weak for pit level 101 since his weapons still suck, but some mysterious effect just lets the monsters burst. No matter if crash mobs or elite, they suddenly disappear and no damage numbers are coming up. But it seems completely unpredictable when this effect will trigger. It just happens randomly. Too bad that this does not work in boss fights, so I still can't complete this pit. At least not alone. I expect the mysterious damage somehow triggers by lucky hit, because when attacking many opponents at once, the chances to trigger the effect seem to be better. So there must be a way to make that happen more often and maybe a bit more controlled. We will have to figure out. If we can make this work on any level, there will be nice team combinations. For example rope for clearing the dungeon and the boss killer like a flay barb to finish off. Now let's see the most important changes. Shadow step will make enemies vulnerable instead of increasing crit chance and the skill enhancement get renewed. One will guarantee 20% damage reduction for 3 seconds and the other will stun opponents and reset cooldown by 3 seconds. Dash also gets improved, it will increase your critical strike chance to all enemies and the enhancements get some new effects. Flurry gets a small buff to its lucky hit chance. It will have 10% chance to make enemies vulnerable and the damage gets increased as well. The enhancements get reworked too. One is to increase damage and reduce the costs after multiple attacking and another one to charge at the opponent from distance and heal for 10% max life. Dark Shroud also will improve. You won't lose more than one charge every 1.5 seconds and the new unique chest plate makes you able to become immune by active use. Some new aspects are also coming and altogether the rogue gets the most changes of all classes. Analyzing all of them would be too much at this point, but there are still some more detailed changes in skill tree and paragon system, as well as with the items and aspects. Most of them are buffs, but there are also nerfs. The legendary paragon note Leirana's instinct gets capped for example. So rogue fans definitely should have a look at the patch notes or listen to the expectations of some famous rogue players. I don't work that much with the rogue, so I can't guess the reach of minor changes that maybe look unimportant to me. Flurry builds definitely get stronger, Heartseeker and rapid fire stay strong, grenade builds get some nerfs and several details are applied to skills that just make more sense. Some unix also change, wind force for example gets an effect for barrage on it, so maybe there will be something useful to build with. However, there will be valid options for both melee and ranged combat. At least that's what I expect after my first testings. At the end of the clip you can see my rogues gear and settings. I say goodbye. Take care and may the loot be with you.
Follow me. Thanks. I'll be seeing you.